So they're calling what this white lady says here is racist. They're calling what this white lady said here is racist. You got the governor of California, man, call, calling this woman racist for what she's about to say. Let's get a $5 challenge started, man. Um, Support the channel, man. Um, we, 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 um, we're going to see, we're going to see what's going on with these, with these people, man. I had to have so much security. There was not enough. I was swarmed. It's all on video. Everyone can see this, but I will tell you what's on video is Jamal Bowman shouting at the top of his lungs cursing, calling me a horrible, calling me a white supremacist, which I take great offense to. That is like calling a... I, I, I appreciate her saying that, man. White people got to start saying that, man. Black people throw that shit around, man. If you cut if you cut in front of a black person in line, they're going to call you a white supremacy. If you a waiter and shit and you fuck up somebody's order, they're going to call you a white supremacist, man. If you're an Uber driver and shit and you late, you fucking two minutes late, they're going to call you a white supremacist, man. Black people are calling people white supremacists for the fuck, for every fucking thing. It's all on video. Everyone can see this. But I will tell you what's on video is Jamal Bowman shouting at the top of his lungs, cursing, calling me a horrible, calling me a white supremacist, which I take great offense to. That is like calling a person of color the N-word, which should never happen. Calling me a white supremacist is equal to that, and that is wrong. Jamal Bowman was down there cursing at me, telling me to get the F out of there. And he was leading the mob right outside the vehicle I was sitting in. We have this all on video. And then at, on the Capitol steps yesterday, he was the one that approached me. Even CNN reported that. Yelling shit. Hold on, wait a second. I thought white women was protected, man. I thought white tears protected white women from this type of shit, man. There's no way a black guy would, would have the balls to do this, man. She's protected by white tears, man. Ain't she protected by white tears? Shouting, raising his voice. He has aggressive... Uh, his physical mannerisms are aggressive, and he just recently... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. His physical mannerisms are aggressive. So now she's a racist. Think about what makes you a racist. His physical mannerisms were aggressive. So that makes her racist. <laughs> How did y'all find y'all self in this box, man? How did y'all find yourself in this box, man? In his voice, he has aggressive, uh, his physical mannerisms are aggressive. And he just recently uh, shoved Thomas Massey um, at just outside the House chamber. I think there's a lot of concern about Jamal Bowman. So, and, and I am concerned about it. I feel threatened by him. Um, he not only- Uh-oh, you can't say you feel threatened by if you're a white woman. Now, if you a black woman or any kind of other woman, you can say that shit. But if you a white woman, you can't say because there's a history. There's a history, man. And hit one of you getting tired of them keep talking about this. Every time something happens, they talk about there's a history or something. There's a history. There's a history of everything. Why white people don't come back and say, well, there's a history of y'all fucking doing this. Black folks starting to use that new term. There's a history of blankety blank blank. There's a history of X, Y, Z. Anytime a white person do something now, there's a history of blankety blank blank. I let a Bob mob there, but his boisterous lies. And I'll tell you another thing he said outside there. He was saying, save your party. I kept telling him, no, save the country. It's not about political parties. We shouldn't care about political parties. We should care about the country because no matter what our political beliefs are, Jamal Bowman, I don't know what his political beliefs are. I know what mine are, but we both we both swore an oath 
to serve the country here in Congress as representatives. So I, I am very concerned about Jamal Bowman, and he's someone that people should watch. Uh oh, so uh oh, she's racist. His physical mannerisms are aggressive. I feel threatened by him. Marjorie Taylor Greene describing Representative Bowman. This is the kind of dangerous rhetoric that led to Emmett Till's death. <laughs> Everyone should call out, call this out for what it is, blatant racist. This is the governor of California saying this shit. Let's see this guy. Do your freaking job, Marjorie Taylor Greene. You don't need to be in New York City talking that nonsense. Go back to your district. You're not. What? Oh shit! This nigga's a homie. I know a homie when I see one, man. This is a homie, man. This is a brother, man. This is a brother, man. Salute the Gil F, man. Coming through, man. This is a brother right here, man. Yo, shout out to Boy Kachina, man. Boy Kachina says, if someone called me Karen, I'd say, you spelling that C-A-R-I-N or C-A or K-A-R-E. Yeah, man. You got you to gotta stop caring about being called a Karen. Look at this guy. This is a this is a congressman. Holy shit. Do your freaking job, Marjorie Taylor Greene. You don't need to be in New York City talking that nonsense. Go back to your district. You're not, what are you doing here? You're here for politics. You're here because you want to be VP. You're here for your own fundraising. You're here for your own nonsense. Yo, he treating his um he treating his district like the hood. He treating his district like the hood. He treating his district like the hood. <laughs> Hey, let me tell you something, gliders, man. Hey, gliders, man. Come here, gliders. Let me tell you something, man. Y'all better dip that shit in the bud, man. <laughs> hey, gliders, man. Y'all better nip this shit in the bud, man. I'm telling you, man, you saw them two dudes down in um, Tennessee. Some man, some man going to turn your goddamn Congress into goddamn. <laughs> some man going to turn your Congress into the hood, man. Be very careful, man. Some man turn your Congress into the hood, man. Be very, very careful, man. Talking about gun violence. And a school that allows teachers to carry. Carry guns? You think you more you guns sponsor? lead to more death? Would you more guns you? lead to more death. You Look at the data. Family? You're not looking. Damn, he aggressive, man. Hey, man, this, I'm a nigga, man. I'm a son, man, man. This, this son word is aggressive, man. <laughs> this son word is aggressive, man. Yeah, black folk, we talk with our hands and we animate it. And I'm used to sun people, you know, a certain level of posturing and moving and gesticulations. I'm used to that. But man, this son man aggressive, man. This aggressive, man. This son man aggressive, man. He aggressive, man. That's it, man. To more death. More guns lead to more death. Look at the data. You're not looking at any data. 
You're, 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 you're carrying the water for the gun lobby. Look at the data. More guns lead to more deaths. Man, that some man look marginalized, man. This some man gonna tell you he marginalized, man. <laughs> it's something he can't do in this country. The forces, the forces are against him, man. <laughs> yeah, that white hoe came through. She weaponized her whiteness. Look at her try to weaponize her whiteness. Where's she at? Where that? Where you're, you're, you're carrying the water for the gun. Look at her weaponizing. Look at that weapon of mass destruction, man. She's a weapon of mass destruction, man. That they, she was going to get him killed, man. She almost got him killed right there, man. Look at this, man. She almost got him killed right there, man. white woman coming in trying to she was trying to get him to hit her she wanted one of his gesticulations one of his hand motions to hit her so she could fall and then you know if that would happen uh all these white men would have lynched him man right these white men would have lynched him right there on the spot man right <laughs> The gun lobby. No, no, Look at the data. The more guns lead to more deaths. For the kids. Guns. For the kids. States that have open carry laws have more deaths. In every school that States allows, that have there's open there's carry never laws been a shooting. have more deaths. Never been. States that have open carry laws have more death amongst the Negro population. They have fixed it for you. States that have more open carry laws have more deaths amongst the Negro populations. If you remove the Negroes from the equation, this would be the safest country in the world. If you take Negroes out of the situation, this would be the safest country in the world. This is Gun violence is 100% a black thing in this country. If you take away black people from the equation, you won't have a gun violence problem in this country. Open There's never been a shooting. Have more deaths. Never been a shooting. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, calm down. Nine-year-old children. That's the solution. It's not arming teachers. That's Have you ever worked in a school? school? Damn, he all up in that man's personal space, man. That's Have you ever worked? Damn. Yo, this unprofessional, man. Gliders, man. Put it. Gliders, nip this shit in the bud, man. Gliders, man, you ain't gonna nip this shit in the bud, man. Y'all gonna let you gonna let some words turn your um your Congress into goddamn. You gonna let some words turn your Congress into the fucking hood, man? This look like the hood. This nigga look like he on the corner, man. He look like Eric Garner talking to the police, man. Not today, man. I ain't going today, man. I just read up on my Lucy's, man. Y'all don't let Eric Garner. <laughs> Y'all let Eric Garner in the fucking Congress, man. What the hell, man? Gladys, I'm going to need y'all to tighten up, man. In the school? school? Have you ever school? worked in a school? Have you ever worked in a school? Have you ever worked in a school? It's a yes or no question. Have you ever worked in a school? You will not answer my question. Don't stop and talk to me. Okay, I'll bring it down to that. Have you ever worked in a school? I worked in a school for 20 years. I was a teacher. I was screaming before you came into the I want to use those for 20 years.
Look at everybody. Everybody's like, God, they regret. Look at the regret on all these people's faces. Look at the regret, man. Look at the regret. Look at the regret on their face. They're like, shit. Cause they know they can't. It's all now, man. Cause he gonna get bolder and bolder, and the, and the more bolder he get, the more bolder he get, the more um, the more he gonna cry racism, and the more they gonna fucking kowtow to him. And he gonna get, he gonna get bolder and bolder and bolder and bolder. This son man will get bolder and bolder. He, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. He gonna he gonna cold cock one of them white congressmen, man. Watch, he gonna cold cock one of them. He ain't gonna hit no. He ain't gonna hit no woman, but he gonna cold cock one of these dudes one day, man. And 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 and, and he gonna blame it on them, and everybody gonna ride with him. He gonna punch one of these white congressmen one day, and he gonna play the victim, and everybody gonna ride along with it. One of them white congressmen going to touch him. He was like, man, he put his hands on me. And everybody going to act like they ain't see him put his hands on him 400 times. He done put his hands on this man 400 times. <laughs> Answer my question. No, TT. I was screaming before you came into the I want to use those for 20 years. I worked this for 20 years. I was a teacher. Right. Talking about gun violence. That's some man scary, man. That's a scary son, man, man. He turning this shit into the hood. What are you talking about? Where are the migrant children? What kids? You guys are accepting them. We love them. We love the migrant children. We lost them. You can't find them. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, migrant children missing. No, no, we don't know the news. I don't know. That's Fox News. That's Fox News. Listen, I need you to say the part. Yelling, shouting, raising his voice. He has aggressive. His physical mannerisms are aggressive, and I am concerned about it. I feel threatened by him. It's it's so nonsensical that it's comical. Uh, you can see clearly in the video that we were, like, playfully jousting yes, with each other. She was laughing. I this white guy. This white guy. Yes, sir. This dude will fuck you if you was in jail. If these two was in jail together, you will fuck this guy, man. This white salute to Eric S, man, coming through once again, man. He will fuck you, white man. <laughs> he had you washing his drawers, man. This is this a, this a big old jail, nigga, man. I, I ain't fooled, man, like you gliders, man. This ain't no motherfucking, this nigga, this a big old jail, nigga, man, for the hood, man. that it's comical uh you can see clearly in the video that we were like playfully jousting yes, with each other she was laughing i was laughing we were talking about each other's party and certain issues um so the the demeanor and the disposition you know on the steps it was it was it was playful we were we were going after each other yeah. so for her the next morning to say what she said i mean it's a complete 180 number one it's no longer comical now because now you are using historical racist tropes historical racist tropes damn yo she 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 using historical racist tropes man <laughs> oh shit she using historical racist tropes y'all to Hank Hill, man. Hank Hill says, black people think they put their hands on me as a green pass for homicide. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. 100%, man. That is that is 100% fact. Oops, toward black. Complete 180, number one. It's no longer comical now because now you are 
using historical racist tropes toward black men, menacing his mannerisms. I'm afraid that's the stuff that got, you know, Trayvon Martin killed to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, literally, there have been like literally a million niggas that got killed. Like literally a million, a million son men been murdered since Trayvon, man. Yeah, Rice killed, yeah. Uh, Michael Brown killed. I mean, I believe Officer Darren Smith li literally talked about his presence and his strength. Well, well, hold on. Michael Brown was 6'4", 300 pounds. That's a big old sun team, man. As an excuse for killing him. And this has happened to black men historically. And so... Listen, man. They keep using this historic shit on y'all. Y'all gliders, man. Y'all better, better snap out of this shit, man. This historical bullshit. He talking about Emmett Till and shit. Let me tell you something about Emmett Till, man. And make sure you hit the PayPal Cash App Super Chat, man. Support the channel, man. We back in the second of what I, what I